Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. How is everybody? Today's video coming up is quite interesting, so hopefully you guys stay tuned to it. Uh, it's kind of like updates and mismatch and just things. I'll have to delete that part out. The uh, hardest thing in the world when you're doing videos is getting the setup right. Whether you're carrying a tripod or, it, well, anything, you know, your phone itself. So it can cause you quite a problem getting set up. It took me uh, 20 minutes to set up here. It's on top of the washing machine. I'm outside, just finished the lawn. And it's amazing how you can get out of shape in like 10 weeks, something like that, where I've been out. Ruth um, uh, cut it last time. She did a good job. Ruth's better than I cutting. She takes the time. Uh, I just I get older and I want to just get it done. <clears throat> I didn't think I'd ever be going to get mowing again. See, that's the thing. I had a lot of property at one time. It's like a farm. Uh, I had uh, I just stuff. Uh, had a barn, you know, I built. And it's like uh, you you become slave to the property. And uh, that's one thing that I did not want to do here is when I walk away from U.S. I want to walk away pretty clear. I don't want to be mowing yards and keep it up with stuff and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, anyway, today's video is about updates. I posted a post yesterday that there will be not be, uh, the Philippine government stated that there will not be any more uh, booster shots that you needed to take um, currently at this particular time. But you can see that post on there. I'll, I can put a link to it or just post it in my uh, description. The uh, thing also I want to tell you about, listen, when you have uh, tools and you spend, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars, three, four hundred dollars on tools, you find out that you go to find the tool, it's gone. All right, my cutting blades. Anyway, I don't know where they go. I don't know where they're at. Uh, I, I, I don't know, you know. I'm not blaming anybody. People say, well, you're blaming me. Why are you blaming me? I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just saying they're gone. When you, you know, a, a man knows where his tools are. A man always knows where every wrench is. Now, does he forget them? Yeah. Does he put them up clean? Yes. So when I, if I use something, if I use a screwdriver to dig in the ground, which I don't, with, uh, my screwdriver is just filthy this morning. So I, I don't know. Um, it's different cultures, different things. Uh, they don't know how much this stuff costs. But that's not what my topic is. The topic is today is I wanted to talk about this uh, briefly. Um, when when you when you come to the Philippines, uh, you have to be able to bend with the current situation. You have to adapt. It's like one of my friends said, Tom. They have to adapt, and a lot of people have a problem adapting. And then they get angry, and then they get angrier, and then they get angrier because they don't get to go what they want to do. Uh, here's a here's an example. Yesterday we called yesterday morning for an appointment for our dog to get a shot, his shot, last shot, and uh, everything was fine. Go there and it's closed. Well, they have a roving vet. He just gets up and goes and does the regular schedule. So he come to your house. Well, apparently, as talking to him, they didn't tell us that the gentleman was in quarantine because he has the honey badger. So, uh, as you know, that prevalent Delta is. I'm, I don't know what I had, and I don't really know, but I know I had something. When you have fever longer than, you know, 15 days, 21 days, you know something's wrong. Uh, so, long story short, you just have to be able to adapt. So, it's not a problem. You just go there and come back. Well, the problem is, is it's only there for a certain time. 9.30 was the appointment. So, today he calls. Uh, you got to go down there now. So, Ruth is down there getting the, the shot for the, for the dog, and it's his final shot. Same thing when you go have appointments to the doctor. Uh, they may change your appointment that you're not aware of and not tell you. So please uh, take the time and call and make sure. Am I still set? I'm going to be there in 30 minutes or an hour. Is everything okay? Do I need to come another time? Because you'll find that the appointments that they set, they may change and just not tell you about it. In the U.S., they call you, you know, man, it's like the dentist and the doctor. Uh, my friend, Dr. Robert, he has that he has one person, that's all they do. Are you coming today now? 
You can't cancel out. This is the last time we're going to do it, or we're going to, you know, charge you more money. So here, if you have an appointment, you need to meet it. But then again, too, they need to tell you if it's canceled or something happens. Uh, we, Ruth and I always try to double check what's going on. And like, you know, uh, if we have an appointment with someone in Davo or have an appointment, we make sure that, you know, like Mike Sirliner, he's he met me. So he knew exactly what time I was going to be there. He knew I was there. And, you know, many of the guys I fed up, I met so many guys over there in Davo that they knew exactly. I said, I'm going to be here this time and for this long, so you can come or we can go meet wherever you want. The mall, wherever, it doesn't matter. Who cares? We're going to meet at the mall. When I bought the expandable house, uh, I had to meet the, the carrier, CMA, CMG, and then I had to meet a freight broker to deliver the house here. Well, the problem was is I listed it in my name and it should be listed in Ruth's name. So I screwed up. So guess what? It cost me another you know, 800 bucks to have that change. So <laughs> delivery would have been 800 bucks cheaper. But <coughs> I'd included that in the 13.5 delivered here. So the thing that you have to be aware of is always think ahead. You know, like, uh, and if that's if you're coming here, but even in U.S., as you guys know, sometimes things are not always as they seem. Things are not always going to be the same. There's changes all the time. And a lot of people have a hard time adapting to that change, and that's where you get the problems. So, for example, an American here got upset because he did not need to go do what he wanted to do when he wanted to do it, and he posted it on YouTube. And I'm saying to myself, be careful what you do, because... Everything that is you posting, there is you're being watched, you're being seen. So everything that I post, you're being seen. Everything everybody else posts, you're being seen. So you have to be very careful. They're not, I'm seeing seen by everybody and everything, you know, because they monitor all these channels. They monitor what is being said. They monitor where you're at. They monitor if you have a face shield, a face mask on, where do you live? How come they're not having a face shield, face mask? So they monitor all that. Uh, my friend's channel... And Manila got taken down because he actually got three copyright strikes. Uh, one month, and then the next month, and the next month, because what he was doing, he was not wearing his face shield and space mask, and neither were the people around him, wherever he was at. I know where he's at. So his channel got taken down. He restarted the channel again, but he has to start all over. Uh, and that's something you have to be so careful with, especially when you're out in the public and the social media. But I try to be careful on a lot of that because you never know when someone is watching, you know. So you have to be careful in comments, careful on your words and things like that. And it's like why I say honey badger and I still will. Because when I caught the honey badger, it was an awakening for me because it hit me like a rock. And I never did have the chest complications, but I had everything else. But in order for me to get through it, in order for me, you know, it was 20 hour day sleep for, you know, for me, six, seven, eight days. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's the wrong statement. Uh, three weeks. I was literally, uh, I probably lost a few pounds. I don't know if I did or not, but if I didn't, it's okay. If I did, it's okay. Uh, but the, the thing, yeah, I was, I was just down, and I don't remember the days. Uh, the days were vague to me. Days, what day? You know, I remember waking up on a Monday, and all of a sudden it's Friday. So uh, I don't remember that because the, the fever temperature was varying about 101, 102, it popped up to 103 a couple of times, which is, can be dangerous depending on your health. So, uh, and you can't just jot down to the local uh, pharmacy. You can't just scoot in the car and go down to the hospital. You can't just do that now because what they do is they classify you over here. If your temperature's high, you're classified right here. You can't go anywhere. So you're there. So you have to be very careful with that. And they check temperatures when you go inside the buildings. So you have to put, you know, uh, your name and address and phone number where you come from. And they, they're they checking it, too, to make sure you're writing it down so they can read it. And so uh, when you go inside, they check your temperature, rewash after you wash your hands already, give you sanitizer, Recheck again when you get back inside to make sure that both the temperatures are working. If you're not, you pull off the side. Now it's not like all these buildings have air conditioning, so but we all know we're sweating on the outside, 
and sometimes our core is hot. A couple instances I had been pulled off to the side and uh, said, wait, uh, we're going to let you wait because your core, your temperature's way, way, way high. So it's, it's something that is, you have to, so I limit my, and even Ruth does the same thing. Now we limit where we go when we go to town. That's sad, isn't it? Uh, but I see what's going on in USA. I see all the changes there. I see that I, I got an email from Florida Hospital where my friend works. He's a doctor. It's not Dr. Robert. Dr. Robert has his own clinic there in Orlando. But this uh, doctor friend of mine is telling me they're booked 100%. 1,600 rooms they have, and they're booked. They're, they're, they're out in the hallways. They're everywhere just to, just to maintain. So... Uh, I know what's going on there. I'm just thankful that I'm here and that I have availability. We do have a doctor friend that we can contact when things get out of hand here if they do. So we just pick up the phone, call her or text her, and she's right there within two seconds of calling her. So we did stay in that format with her to make sure. Now, not only me, uh, I would say 80% of the family members had the same thing. And I know where I caught it. Uh, but but the family's out. In fact, some of the family is still sick and they're still quarantined because they got out and they did. They were out and they got temperature checked and then they put them off the side and they said, okay, you're still hot. Let's go, let's go to the doctor and they quarantined them. So they're still quarantined now to this day. So, which is fine. They're fine. I think he's home quarantined now. So, But here's the thing too is I just wanted to say adapt to the current situation, no matter where you live, in whatever whatever country you live in. Ruth and I uh, was thinking of this the other day. It's like we're fed up with the uh, solar. Uh, I mean, not solar, but the power. Uh, I got my bill in today. It's 100 bucks, And uh, it's, it's fine, 24-hour a day electric. You know, I can't complain by it, right, in the other parts of the house. So really, it's the, it's the, it's the motor, it's the fan, it's the air con. So I said to myself, I got everything ordered, you know, uh, I can uh, attach certain things. So, so when it gets here, we'll put it all together. I ordered uh, an additional 200 amp hours, so we should be pushing 1,100 amp hours of power and lithium, uh, lithium ion batteries. And uh, so we can actually uh, utilize that. So I won't have to depend on anything with the power. I mean, that, that thing will run 24 hours a day. Not saying I use it. But I use my aircon in the bedroom. I sleep with it on because why would you want to set in humidity with the fan on and bring in the fan? I did that for four years. I did that for four years. People, all the naysayers, well, 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 well. Well, I did it for four years. I slept on the floor. We didn't have a bed. I could have bought one. Just didn't think about it. I had other things on my mind. I don't know. But, yeah, we just recently bought this bed within uh, the last 18 months. So, yeah, I just sleep it on the floor. We just threw a mattress down, not a mattress, a, a couple of those small pads, got on the floor, got back up. It's hard for me, but I did it. Did I complain? No, not really. I'm, the da I, I'm a pretty well adaptable type person. Where I have no patience standing in grocery store line when you have 15 registers and you have two open. That's where I lose it. And I'm thinking to myself, and the line is literally, we went there, and it's literally 25 per line. I'm like number 20. Took us almost two hours to get out of the store. So I said to myself, there has to be a better way that someone could get groceries. Really. So I ordered from Lazada. Our groceries are now coming in for Lazada. If I need eggs and things like that, we just go down here at the market. They open up a little market. Yeah, that store I went to. So we'll have that. But, but, it gives you the availability that, it, you know, being adaptable. The solar will give an advantage for not only me, it can give advantage maybe to the neighbor. If they want something, all they got to run is cinch cord. I got a long cinch cord, go across the street, no worries, put four or five items in. And they can have advantage to it. So if it does go off grid for some reason, which it seems that it's on, off, on, off. And I think they do it so they get the meter to spin. You know what I mean? So they turn it off and then back on immediately. And then turn it off, and then back on. So it's it's like, what's going on? What's going on? And then all of a sudden, it goes out completely about 20 minutes later, and it's out for whatever time. 
So, and then if you don't unplug everything, right, everything's just my air con, which we forget because I'm outside. I don't know what's going on inside the house. The air's running in there. I don't know if the power's out because everything's on solar. That radio in there is on solar. So, this will have solar. Uh, my solar light, my solar panel here has died, so I know how to fix it. We'll just put uh, these solar lights that we're buying. I don't know if you can see out there. It's just, just a small panel about this big. Uh, China but I did buy some solar panels all those solar panels are from China except for two uh, but they actually can make you can actually make your own solar panels and I even looked into that I can make my own solar panels for about 50 to 75 bucks uh, I can 200 watt but I bought a 300 watt panel for $28 and uh, it's the poly, so uh, which is one of the better ones, um, and it's flexible. Uh, you can just put it on a car, and I can unplug and take it anywhere. Uh, as you know, my my solar system. Oh, I know I'm just talking here. I don't know how long. 15 minutes. It's okay. Uh, my solar there is on a two wheeler, so I can actually move it out of the house, which I can. I have. Just all you gotta do is just they're they're just you know the push and you unclip it, unclip it. The solar panels are just two wires, and then I, the batteries two wires. That's it. Unclip it. I leave the batteries on. Unclip the solar, pull it outside. You can have solar outside if you want. Um, but there's many. There's e easier ways of doing that. These days they, they have the easy uh, clips. You can use alligator clips, which I don't use. There's a, I forget what they call them. Uh, it's, it's a it's a clip. It just basically clips to each other and causes a good good bind. So that's me. Adapt to everything. Adapt to the situation. Adapt to, to the environment. Uh, and I, I think I'm done mowing today. I always get the guys over here on the other side, and I get the neighbor where they can earn extra money to cut that. Oh, just along the fence line, they get a hundred peso, and uh, clean, keep that clean. So I have. I'm gonna go over and have Argo do that. Argo's in school. She's not happy. She hates school now. So uh, well, I I said well. I have to tell you, I shouldn't say this as a father, but I hated school too. Uh, I was lucky. I, I skated through school. I never studied. <laughs> never. Never studied. I just skated. If I had an exam, I just took it, and whatever came out, came out. And so, But I graduated. <laughs> college is different. I did study in college to get my degree. So, But that's life. God bless everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you for always being on our channel, and thank you for the comments.